So today I'm talking about a P0705 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0705 code? Well, it's a transmission range sensor circuit malfunction, park, reverse, neutral, drive, low input. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's a sensor or switch, however you want to call it, that reports back to the vehicle's computer, the location of the shifter. So if the shifter is in park, then the sensor is going to be reporting that back to the computer. If the shifter is in drive, then it's going to be reporting this back to the computer. And when you get a P0705 code, for some reason, the computer's seeing that this is wrong. So for example, the vehicle's moving, it's driving at like 35 miles per hour, but this sensor is reporting back to the computer that the vehicle's in park, then the computer's going to know there's a problem and it's going to trigger this P0705 code. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0705 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that that sensor has just gone bad and it just needs to be replaced. Depending on the manufacturer, this could be called different things. It could be called a range sensor, a neutral safety switch, a digital transmission range sensor, a gear position sensor, or an inhibitor switch. So it could vary a little bit on what it's called. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad switch. And the next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the switch. If there's any issues here, like an open, a short, there's some kind of bad connection, then it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. Quite often you could check the wires going around inside of the harness and just check to see if you see any physical damage. Because sometimes these wires, when they go around, they can get loose, they could get down on the exhaust, they could get burnt spots, different things like this. You could also check all those wires to see if there's any open or short or anything. You will need to get schematics for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on with the wiring. For example, right here, the wire going to park is going to be a black wire. The wire going to neutral is going to be the blue wire. The wire that goes to drive is going to be the green wire, and so on. So you can't get a wiring diagram where all your wires are going on your particular vehicle. Then you need to check the wires going back to the computer, to the TCM or the PCM, and you be sure that there's no issues going on there. But the next thing that could cause this is there's some kind of issue going on inside the wiring. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of issue going on with the transmission. And so this is going to be something like up inside of the valve body. There might be something going on there that's causing a problem. Or inside of the shift linkage going to the transmission. If there's any kind of issues going on there, the linkage got bent, some of the inserts or something along these lines fell out, then it could be causing a problem. And when you go to shift, the linkage isn't being pushed down on it correctly or something along these lines. But the next thing that could cause this problem is that the transmission's gone bad or the shift linkage going to that switch is having an issue. And the last thing on the list is that the computer's gone bad. The transmission control module or the powertrain control module has gone bad and is having some kind of issues. This isn't too common. Usually when you get a P0705 code is that either that sensor or switch has failed and it just needs to be replaced or there's an issue going on inside of the wiring. But it is possible that a computer's gone bad and there's some kind of issue going on there. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad transmission control module or powertrain control module. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0705 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.